five. With gas still so expensive, one way you can save is not to drive at all, but break out your bike instead. And all new for you this morning, 7 News reporter Taylor Reps is breaking down the effort to bring more of those bikes to one neighborhood and the good it's also doing in that community. Hi, Taylor. Good morning. Hey Ed, good morning to you. I'm standing in front of a new community hub here in Buffalo's east side. Starting tomorrow, this is going to be a place where you can borrow a bike, get your bike fixed, or even just come down and hang out. And it's all about increasing access and mobility for this neighborhood. On Saturday mornings, the East Side Community Rides. We go out and we have such a good time. It's a family. We care truly about each other. We look out for each other. Um, it, it's, it's set up purposely to make sure no one's left behind. That's what the East Side Bike Club is all about. It's only grown since it started six years ago. Now they're expanding to this building to do more than the weekly ride. The e-bike library is a library, so there is no charge. You're not renting them, we're loaning them to you. They'll have 50 of these e-bikes here on Kensington. It's designed to give the community more mobility. For people that have needs that exist outside of a short-term, one-time use, they can pick up a bike here through our program. Uh, use it to commute for groceries, to work. You can borrow one of these for a week at a time. They're battery powered and easier to ride than your average bike. So the e-bikes are pedal assisted bikes, so they really give you a little bit of an extra boost. Folks who would say, oh, I haven't ridden a bike in years. I am so out of shape. And they got on an e-bike and loved it because it took away all those barriers. They'll also host bike workshops and have mechanics on site so people can bring their own bikes in or donate them. Those will then be part of our earn a bike program for people in this neighborhood. Getting people to be able to go where they need to, when they need to, instead of having to rely on some other means. And it goes beyond bikes. We're doing a food giveaway. We've got all types of stuff that's been do donated in spite of the tragedy that happened on Jefferson. What they probably thought was going to break us apart, it only brought us even better and closer together, taking us to a whole nother level. So tomorrow's the big day. You can stop by here at 1057 Kensington to check out the new space, check out all their bikes, and come down and grab a bite to eat. And even after that, they're going to be continuing to accept those donations of food, toiletries, and bikes. And, of course, the Eastside Bike Club rides every Saturday morning from MLK Park at 10 o'clock sharp. From now, we're live in Buffalo. Taylor Epps, 7 News. Great way to see parts of the community that you might not necessarily always see, Taylor. Thank you.